property. Hey y'all, Mikey from Rockin' K, and last week you saw me install this solar system. So right now what I want to do is tell you all about it. So that's coming up. Hey y'all, so, as in the intro, here's our balcony solar system. Uh, I designed this system, I picked out bit and piece as to how I wanted to design my system. And um, so the starting point for designing the system was what are the German laws here for solar? And the German laws here for solar was 600 watts of um, balcony solar is the type of system they're calling this. It was 600 watts that you were allowed to produce and feedback. Uh, as of January 2024, it went to 800 watts. So that's when we decided to, all right, we're going to get at least some of the homestead on the solar. So what is balcony solar? Balcony solar is a plug and play type system. There is no wiring involved when it comes to actually splicing and screwing wires together. It has um, basically plugs together like an extension cord. So these panels plug into an inverter and then the inverter actually plugs into the wall just like a coffee pot would. Germany allows this for two reasons. One, it is plug and play, meaning there's no exposed wires. You don't need to be an electrician to do the connections or anything like that. And two, 800 watts is not a lot of power uh, in the grand scheme of things. So at maximum, uh, at least for us, we would feed back to the grid maybe three or 400 watts. So we're not gonna overpower the grid and we're not gonna overpower the circuit that this system is hooked up to. So the circuit that this system is ho hooked up to or that your system would be hooked up to uh, is going to have a circuit breaker and that circuit breaker is going to be rated for a certain amount of electricity. Well, the thing about a balcony type solar system is it's plugged in after the circuit breaker so that any loads that are after that circuit breaker, whether it's a coffee pot, a microwave, whatever, um, when the system is in production is going to be feeding that, that microwave or that coffee pot and not necessarily going even past the breaker. So you don't have to worry about overloading that, that particular circuit. So these are the reasons that Germany really, you know, let the end user install this. It doesn't require permits. It doesn't require um, an expert to come out and, and inspect your system or anything like that. One thing they do, however, uh, want to make sure of is there's actually a special plug. And this is going down off the side a little bit. There is a special plug that is designed for uh, some of the balcony solar systems because the prongs of the plug, just like if you have a coffee pot and you have a, uh, the plug for it, you know, there's the two metal pieces that stick out of the plug that you plug into the wall. Um, on some systems, these are going to be energized. Most microinverters these days, though, are anti-islanding. And what that means is, unless it senses electricity, uh, on the prongs of that plug, it's not going to produce any power. So that's what this system does. And that's why we're able to just plug it into an outlet. So 90% of your uh, inverters are going to be this way. And, you know, that's part of what Germany understands is, okay, this is going to be a normal plug type system and we don't have to worry about it because it will not produce power unless it senses power. So now that we've gone down that rabbit hole, what is my system? So our system is comprised of a Hoy Miles, and I, I think I'm saying it right. It's H O Y M I L E S inverter. So the the inverter is the part number is H M S 800 W two T, and this inverter, of course, as if you're looking at the part number, it will produce 800 watts maximum off of two T two solar panels. So we have the two solar panels hooked up to one inverter. The inverter came with a 12-year warranty, which, I mean, that's great. 
12 years, the system will more than pay for itself. Oh, well, better pay for itself within 12 years. Um, also, uh, something to keep in mind when you're designing, if you design your own system, is there's two MPPTs charging uh, circuits in this, and it's actually MPPTs that actually convert it to AC. And those two MPPT circuits have a starting voltage. So in this case, the starting voltage on this one is 22 volts. And so when you're designing your system and you've pick out your inverter, your inverter is going to have a startup voltage. And my, so in my case, it's 22 volts. So when I was picking out solar panels, I had to make sure that my solar panels would produce more than 22 volts so that the MPPT would start itself up. So the MPPT has a ceiling limit of 65 volts. With that said, I had to make sure that when I picked out my panels that they didn't go over 65 volts. So let's talk a little bit about the panels now. So the panels are made by Sunket and each panel is 430 watts. They, they, uh, the STC output on these panels is 38.7 volts for each panel, which is, like I said, above our 22 volts, so our system will start. So the great things about these panels is, number one, 30-year warranty. 30 years, these panels are supposed to make 80% power. After 30 years, you can't beat that. So... The other thing about these panels is they're a bifacial panel. If you look at the back, the back actually has solar cells on it. Those solar cells will produce additional energy. So in a conditions like today, where it's overcast and the front is only getting so much, so much sun, it's also reflecting photons off the back, uh, off this wall, and it's hitting the back of the panel. We'll get a little bit extra. And that extra can be anywhere from 5 to like 25%, which is, you know, when it comes to an overcast day, that's a lot. I mean, we're still making probably about 200 watts of energy right now. And, you know, it's it's gloomy. So we're making near, near 200 watts in this. Um, so bifacial panels was, was my pick for my system. And to talk about just the last little bit of my system... Uh, and the design is we picked out these brackets off of Amazon. Uh, these brackets, I thought that they were going to be flimsy. And, you know, they're, they're like a two millimeter aluminum. But, man, these things are solid. Now, if you're in a rental situation where you're renting either an apartment or you're renting uh, a house, you're not going to be able to put brackets on the wall. Don't worry, there's other solutions that that are out there. Uh, there's ground mounts that fill up with water and you can put your panels on it and stuff like that. So don't let the fact that I mounted mine on the wall de deter you from, from possibly doing your own system. Just know that you'll end up with your, your, your system on the ground, um, possibly on your balcony, like balcony solar is, you know, states. Um, the system's been in uh, in commission now for five and a half days, about, somewhere around there. Uh, we picked up the panels on Friday, and it is now Saturday, and I hooked them up on sat last Saturday, and it was like, I don't know, about two o'clock in the afternoon, maybe three o'clock in the afternoon when we, turned, when we finally got them turned on. And we've made 10 kilowatts, so... 10 kilowatts in on our electric bill is about two dollars in dollars it's about three dollars in euro it's about two euro 70 we'll say something like that so that's just under a week so I'm, I'm assuming and you know even with the overcast and stuff like that that's what we produced so in tampering, in tempering my um, expectations, I'm looking at you know my expectations of between two fifty and three dollars of or two euro fifty and three euro of energy production 
or energy savings, I should say, over the course of a week. What does that mean? All right, so we're looking at about 12 euro a month. This system will pay itself off then in what? Maybe, I mean, so a year would be, uh, you know, probably about 15 months. And then all the electricity after that is is win-win. It's free because technically I already paid for this first 16 months because it cost us 360 euro to buy the system. But it's a no-brainer. It's easy. If if this guy can do it just by looking at the internet and and picking out some components and throwing it on a wall and producing power, I'm pretty sure anybody can do this. So if you're thinking about doing uh, a balcony solar system, or if you're in the States and you're allowed to do um, a plug-in style solar system where you can use multiple microinverters, do it. It's, it is so easy. And you know what? Every watt we produce is a watt that they're not burning oil for, that they're not, you know, it's, it's clean, green energy. So if you have the chance to do it, I recommend it highly. Um, I also recommend the, if you're here in Germany and you're going to uh, purchase solar equipment, I purchased this equipment off of iSolar Pro. Um, they, they are not sponsoring. Uh, th there is no sponsorship involved. They didn't give me a deal or anything like that. They don't even know that I probably have a channel. Uh, but the transaction was simple. Uh, it was actually able to be done over PayPal, which gave me the warm fuzzy because it was pay us and then come pick the panels up. So um, PayPal gave us that security of, well, if I go to pick the panels up and this is a bogus, uh, a bogus site, I don't lose my money. PayPal will get me my money back. So that aside, uh, I highly recommend iSolar Pro. The transaction uh, was done on the internet. It took us maybe five minutes to pick the panels up. Um, and it was great. It was win-win. So if you're thinking about doing it, I wouldn't hold back. I would spend that three or 400 euro, install your own system, save the environment, save yourself some green, you know, keep that money in the pocket. And yeah, win-win. So in sticking with my motto, if you're thinking about family, you're thinking about friends, give them the What's Up or the What's App. You know you'd love to hear from them too. And until the next installment, auf Wiedersehen.